Can you write a poem with just sentence fragments? These people did. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's daily lessons. In today's tutorial video, we will be looking at writing poetry with sentence fragments. So, is it really possible to use the power of sentence fragments in creating beautiful and meaningful poetry? Well, you might be surprised to learn that you can definitely write a poem with just sentence fragments. And in this video, we'll show you how to. So grab your pen and paper and stick around to the end because you are definitely going to love this. So before we dive in fully into today's lesson, let's start with the definitions of sentence fragments and poetry for those of us who may not fully understand the meaning. First, let's define what a sentence fragment is. A sentence fragment is a phrase or a clause that does not express a complete thought or sentence. It's a partial idea that needs something else to make it complete. For instance, here are three examples of sentence fragments with potential applications. 1. After the rainstorm. This sentence fragment could be used as a descriptive phrase in a story or essay. For example, after the rainstorm, the air was fresh and clean, and the colors of the world seemed brighter. 2. Just when I thought. This sentence fragment could be used as a starting point for a thought or reflection. For example, just when I thought life couldn't get any more complicated, something unexpected happened. 3. With a heavy heart. This sentence fragment could be used to set the tone or mood in a piece of writing. For example, with a heavy heart, she said goodbye to her best friend, knowing it would be the last time she would see her. And what about poems or poetry? Poetry is a form of writing that uses language to evoke emotions, create images, and convey ideas. It can take many forms, from sonnets and haikus to free verse and slam poetry. And here are examples of a few popular poetry of all time. 1. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. This famous poem explores the idea of making choices in life and how they shape our future. It can be used as an inspirational piece to encourage readers to take risks and make bold decisions. 2. Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. This powerful poem celebrates the strength and resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. It can be used as a motivational piece to inspire people to overcome obstacles and persevere in the face of challenges. 3. The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock by T.S. Eliot. This modernist poem explores the themes of isolation, alienation, and the search for meaning in life. It can be used as a thought-provoking piece to encourage readers to reflect on their own lives and the purpose of their existence. Now that we've defined our terms and seen some examples, let's explore how we can use sentence fragments to create poetry. We asked people on the street if they thought it was possible to write a poem with just sentence fragments, and the responses were mixed. Some people thought it would be impossible, while others were excited to try. But the truth is, writing poetry with sentence fragments can be a fun and creative exercise that can yield surprising results. So, how do we get started? To begin, take a blank piece of paper and write down a few sentence fragments. You can write anything that comes to mind, whether it's a feeling, a thought, an image, or a memory. Let's say, for example, you write down these three sentence fragments. The sun was setting. The sky turned red. I felt a sense of peace. Now let's see how we can use these sentence fragments to create a poem. The sun was setting. The sky turned red. I felt a sense of peace. The world seemed to slow down, the chaos at bay. I was content to just be. Let's take a look at a few more fragments and how you can create a poem with them, and I will let you guys practice, and then we will round up with five more examples of a sentence fragment used to form a poem. For example, let's say you write down these three sentence fragments. The leaves rustled, a bird chirped, the sun set. Now take your sentence fragments and start to play around with them. See how you can combine them to create a poetic image or idea. 
For example, you might combine the fragments like this. The leaves rustled in the breeze, a bird chirped in the distance, the sun set on the horizon, casting a golden glow across the sky. And there you have them, a simple poem created with just a few sentence fragments. The beauty of using sentence fragments is that they can evoke powerful emotions and imagery with just a few words. To demonstrate this further, we invited a group of people to join us and create their own poems using sentence fragments in class, and I will show you, before the end of this tutorial, more sentence fragments that they came up with and how they made a poem with them. So, everyone, let's get started. I want you to start by writing down a few sentence fragments that you can think of. It can be anything that inspires you. You don't have to obsess over it so much. Now let's see how we can use these sentence fragments to create a poem. Take a few more minutes to play around with the fragments and see what emerges. Great work, everyone. I believe you all came up with something good. To round up today's lessons, now let's take a look at five more sentence fragments that can be used to form a poem. One, the world was silent. This fragment could be used to set the tone for a poem that explores themes of loneliness and isolation. For example, the world was silent, and I was alone with my thoughts, searching for a way out of the darkness. Great, right? Two, the stars shone brightly. This fragment could be used to create an image of beauty and wonder in a poem. For example, the stars shone brightly, illuminating the night sky, and I felt small and insignificant in their presence. Three, the wind whispered secrets. This fragment could be used to create a sense of mystery or intrigue in a poem. For example, the wind whispered secrets in my ear, but I could not decipher their meaning, and I was left wondering about the mysteries of the universe. Four, the rain fell gently. This fragment could be used to create a sense of calm and tranquility in a poem. For example, the rain fell gently, washing away my troubles, and I felt at peace with the world. Five, the fire burned brightly. This fragment could be used to create a sense of warmth and comfort in a poem. For example, the fire burned brightly, casting a warm glow across the room, and I felt safe and secure in its embrace. If you followed along to this point, I know you've each managed to create a unique and powerful poem using just a few sentence fragments. So, great work. And that's the beauty of writing poetry with sentence fragments. It allows you to tap into your creativity and explore new ways of expressing yourself. It's a great exercise for writers of all levels, whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro. You can find inspiration for your sentence fragments anywhere, from the beauty of nature to the hustle and bustle of the city. And once you have your fragments, you can play around with them and see what emerges. You might be surprised at what you come up with. So today, we have learned that sentence fragments can be a powerful tool for creating poetry. By using them, we can evoke powerful emotions and imagery with just a few words. And we've seen how easy it is to get started with writing poetry with sentence fragments. So why not give it a try yourself? Take a walk, observe the world around you, and jot down a few sentence fragments that come to mind. Then, see where they take you. You might just discover a new passion for writing poetry. Thank you for watching and sticking around to this point with me. And I hope you've enjoyed this video on creating poetry with sentence fragments. Be sure to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel for more English lessons. And I will see you in my next lesson. Bye-bye!